Some games do the Dark Souls genre of gameplay justice. Some games are broken, random, badly optimized, and pieces of crap. So this is Lords of the Fallen. I got this free on my PS4, along with Journey, which I live streamed. I love Journey. At first glance, this game looked pretty interesting. The intro really pulls you into sort of this mythical World of Warcraft feeling world. The cinematics really impress me, and it's like it made the world feel expanse. I finally get into the game, and classes seemed a little limited, but there's three sort of main tiers. You can combine them, and it actually titles each combination of your skill sets. And the one I went with was Paladin, usually a Paladin class, like with maybe Faith or just a very tanky, takes up a lot of damage. That's kind of my type of character I like to play. So it gets into the game and it instantly reminds me of something like Warhammer Fantasy. All these all these clunky armor sets and just kind of dark and fantasy looking landscapes. It looked pretty cool. But once the game started rolling, I realized it was like Dark Souls. The short tutorial shows you how to fight an enemy, and I really like that. It really looked cool. I learned that if you die, you dropped your experience, like in Dark Souls, and you have to get them back. However, the tutorial fight was highly scripted, just getting you used to the combat and such, but it's probably the coolest fight you will ever have in this game, because you will never be able to do and pull off these moves like in this little scripted scene ever again. Combat is freaking clunky. The frame rate in the first boss cutscene, I didn't even record it. I don't even want to show it. It ran like how Crisis ran on my Windows XP laptop back in 2007. Seizure inducing. It was bad. My character moves reasonably fast, but when I attack, suddenly I just have very limited range and just feel very sluggish. I understand this is probably because I was wearing heavy armor and the weight load was high, but why would I still run around reasonably fast and not be able to swing forward just a few more feet? So the game lulls you into the combat with enemies that are blind. You need to sneak up on them. But very quickly, it starts falling apart. The first boss was a decent fight. Kind of difficult, actually. I was really struggling with it. But that might have been the game's mechanics more than any kind of learning curve. The music was halfway decent. Nothing to really write home about, but it, it fit the battle. Moves aren't as professionally choreographed from the enemies like in Dark Souls, but even if they were, your character's role is ridiculous. Like, a fat role in Dark Souls would be, would have more potential at dodging than this. This game has health potions, stamina, checkpoints, bosses, and even some roleplay decision-making conversations in situations. The only thing here, though, that's a little original is that at these checkpoints, which are like bonfires, if you bank your XP for safekeeping or spend them on skills, you actually lose an XP multiplier bonus. 
It rewards you for taking risk and holding on to your current XP. This is sort of cool and actually puts a little more tension into the fights if you've been risk taking and holding on to your XP for a while. You lose the bonus though if you die or spend it so it definitely adds a lot more tension to each encounter. The conversations you have with characters in the first level are just illogical. Like you're in the middle of some kind of monastery filled with monsters and these shadow phantom knights and everything just wants to kill you. Oh, there's this woman wanting something from a monk and wants to kill him. Like this little fight here just breaks down literally feet from fighting an enemy. It, it just doesn't make any sense in just the spatial universe of this world. Dark Souls does it where NPCs are stationed in safe areas usually. You know, away from combat so you can like talk to them. It's seriously, th th this goes down like right after you slay some guy. Right there, they're not even worried about these things. Anyways, I found myself getting fed up with the enemies. The fighting just is so bad, like it looks cool and then you play it and then you realize, oh it's clunky. So you get this fist weapon that fires some sort of energy and nearly one shots enemies. So I guess, you know, want to do good, get that thing upgraded or something. The second boss comes around and I struggle with it. It has the most annoying and unimpressive attacks I've ever seen from a boss. Look at that. He just swings the thing above his head and whoop, there goes a little wave of air. Oh, you just got hit. Oh, that hurt. You get close to him and he shields himself and brings in minions to fight you. These minions you might struggle with even alone and so they gotta throw minions at you. After a while fighting them, if they aren't dead, the boss gets back into the action anyway, so you gotta kill those minions fast. Oh my god. It's just so clunky. There's no opening on this guy. Look at that. He attacks and his shield just conforms right back to his body. What kind of difficulty creep is this? This is the second boss. Aren't there like four wardens? Wasn't that like four wardens? We're already fighting like half. We're almost like halfway through, right? Is this just the bosses for this area? The bosses for this game? What is this? What is this? Why can't I beat this guy? It's not even me. It's not even me. This is frustrating now. How can you even? I uninstalled it. I can't play it. It tries to be Dark Souls with bad controls and not as much polish. It's just, there's not enough there for a good game. I'm going to give it a 3 out of 10. It's got bad frame rate drop. It's got bad mechanics. It's barely got any original ideas on its own. It's got average music and it looks okay. It looks, it doesn't run okay, but it looks okay. Maybe the only thing going for it was the actual voice acting in it. They had really good voice actors. Like that, that can make or break a game, but that can't like make all of a game. You gotta back it up with something else that's good. Let me just tell you, I'm glad it's free. But if you've played something like Dark Souls or anything in the genre that's halfway decent, you're going to be disappointed by this game. Because the moment I saw that it was going to be like Dark Souls, my expectations went through the roof. Because that's just how good those games are. And if there's going to be a game copying the mechanics of Dark Souls, I'm going to expect the crap out of it. And if it doesn't reach that, well, then I just have to remember that. But this game sucks. This game seriously sucks. And it's so, like, it's so bad bad that it isn't even funny bad. Like, I can't even make, like, a These Games Suck video out of this because it's just too bad. It's not even the funny bad. So, yeah, avoid this game. Please don't get it.
even though it's free, just don't even take up the space on your hard drive. It took up a lot of space on my hard drive. You know, I only got 500, 500 gigabytes on that thing. It's not that much at all. You hear the new Infinite Warfare's got like 130 gigabyte space take up there? It's like, what the heck? Who would do that with Call of Duty? So anyways, thank you guys for watching this review. Uh, like it if you like this sort of review. If you want something a little bit different, maybe the reviews with Austin and I both talking about a game that we've tried. Just, you know, throw ideas out there in the comments section. We barely get any comments anyway, so whatever you say has a huge influence on what we do. So just remember that. And I'll see you in the next one.